So in October of 2020, uh, right in the middle of the pandemic, I had an a, a inkling to relive some of my childhood. I had a, a Sirius 80 Model 1 uh, when I was a kid, her family did, and uh, that was lost to time, sadly, but uh, found this Tiris 80 Model 3 on eBay, picked it up, and uh, uh, it still had the warranty sticker on it, uh, intact, so it never been, never has been opened, never had been opened, I should say, so uh, I broke that warranty sticker, and <laughs> and replaced the reefa caps on it and uh, there was a bad key on the keyboard so I did a botch wire on the keyboard and uh, it, so that has all the keys working now and I tricked it up a little bit I uh, did a cable for the coming out of the cassette to these uh, to this uh, amplified speaker system and I also did a cable uh, to this uh, floppy emulator and one of the floppies had a bad uh, door on it the door would not close it was broken so I took that floppy out uh, and replaced it with a GoTech drive uh, put replace the firmware on the GoTech with a uh, flash floppy uh, software firmware and that made it to where it can read uh, floppy uh, emulation files so I went on the internet and downloaded a whole ton of various floppy emulations created them all on and here's a list of them all I have several pages of these and this is like a childhood dream of mine to have all of the software now for Sirius 80 at my fingertips so let's go ahead and turn it on and see how it all works you can see the flash floppy blinking there and it's currently on disk number 47 and that buzz that you heard was the other external floppy unit that I had which is currently on TRS DOS so you see it can also boot it on 47 which is TRS DOS as well so if I do like a DIR this is disk 0 this is disk 1 this is disk 2 so if I do DIR colon oops that just did we do DIR uh, colon two and that'll read that disk there. So if I do DIR colon zero, it's reading this disk which is on disk number 47, which is the Leo Christofferson games. So, if I wanted to load one of the Leo Christofferson games, basic, and let's do uh, like uh, Android. It's a basic program, so it's Android slash BAS. And it'll load up. And it's kind of cool having a uh, USB working on uh, a device that was manufactured in 1980. So I think that's really cool that I have that uh, working. And have all of this incredible software that I just dreamed of when I was a kid uh, working on this computer now. And the, the screen looks great. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera very well. But you can see the, the sounds are working.
Yep, you can hear the sound works great. It's going through the uh, uh, cassette cable that I had to create to, uh, to connect it to the external uh, powered speakers. But if I wanted to make it, uh, let's say if I wanted to play Cosmic Fighter, all I'd have to do is go over to my list, see Cosmic Fighter is number 10. So I put this on 10. And then reboot the system. And boom, I'm on Cosmic Fighter. So anyway, I just wanted to show off my TRS-80. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.